smokes, my friends. I'm, I'm so pleased you're not dead. Kevin Shirky here, the Indiana Jones nerd yet again. The latest from Morocco, we've got a look at Indy wearing a tie in that scene. We can also see that the auto rickshaw or tuk-tuk that Indy was driving has a big gash on the roof, and Phoebe Waller-Bridge is now driving that other tuk-tuk. More footage of the chase shows the two vehicles side by side. Then, in this shot, you can see that the two rickshaws got separated in traffic, and Indy is trying to catch up. And here we can see that camera-mounted car in action. Some behind-the-scenes photos show a Harrison Ford mask, which I imagine is being used by the stunt driver. We've seen a shot from the Temple of Segusta shoot showing the same blue kidnapping van from Chefalu, so perhaps the young boy is kidnapped and brought here. We got some more great photos here showing Indy, Phoebe, and Banderas preparing for some deep-sea diving. I wanted to share one of the popular theories going around. Some fans think that Indy 5 is a soft remake of Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. Adventure Guide on Twitter has been sharing images of the visual and thematic similarities. A lot of fans subscribe to this theory and are hoping for Atlantis to be the MacGuffin in Indy 5, but at this point it's just a theory. Something interesting that Ian Carrillo pointed out to me on the IMDB page, Disney and Paramount are both listed as distributors for the film. There had been speculation that the Disney castle would fade into Bamburgh Castle, but with this bit of news, it seems possible that Indy 5 will continue the tradition of fading in from the Paramount logo. We were told that scenes were shot at Bocalative Moor in Scotland during the summer. Perhaps that will be the opening shot. Another interesting bit of speculation from Indiana Jones at Talia, is Indy 5 going to be a two-parter? With so much footage being filmed, including four different chase scenes, some fans are wondering if what we are seeing is Indy 5 and Indy 6. I'd personally love for two new Indiana Jones films to be made, but I don't think it's the case here. And for our fan art spotlight, we're highlighting this slick poster by Brandon Huskin, a school project on negative space. It imagines Indy 5 as a film titled Indiana Jones and the Watchmen Ruins, and features a heavy Egyptian influence. It's an evocative and exciting poster. Great job, Brandon. One of these days, I'm going to get around to making another motion comic, but until then, check out Indiana Jones and the Spear of Destiny through the link here. That's it for now. Hit like and subscribe, and check out my merch store in the description. Thanks so much, and I wish you all fortune and glory. Bye-bye now.